Let's look at question 3.2. It says South Africa's unemployment rate, right? Rate is always, we're thinking about percentages, increased from 34,4% in quarter two to 34,9% in quarter three of 2021. The number of unemployed people in quarter two was 7,6 million, which is 183,000 less than in quarter three, okay? So basically, we know we're probably gonna use these numbers, just bear them in mind, but let's keep reading. The graph below indicates the unemployment rate for the different genders and the total for South Africa for the first three quarters of 2021. So be careful here. What they've done is they've done quarter one, quarter two, and quarter three. Some students used to, um, sometimes made the mistake of saying quarter one, quarter two, quarter three. So just make sure that you're reading this correctly. Then um, look at the scale here. This is not zero, right? It starts at 28 and it goes to, to 38. So just be careful when you're reading this. This here is RSA, right? That is women and that is men. Okay, and that's the same for each of them across. If you need highlighters, go and highlight the different, um, if you have highlighters, go and highlight the different categories to make sure that you know what's going on. Again, if you don't know what's going on, don't stress. Let's go to the questions. They always help us understand the information presented. So it says, use the information above to answer the questions that follow. It says, write down the quarter, which showed the highest rate of unemployment, uh, highest rate of unemployed men. Okay, so let's look here. We're looking at men, right? I'm just going to use a highlighter here just to help me. Men, so there are men, there are men, and there are men, okay? It's quite evident from that, right, that the quarter that showed the highest rate would be quarter three. So go and write that on your page and say quarter three, okay? Remember to always label your questions properly. Easy entry-level question. Let's go on to the next one. It says, calculate the number of unemployed people in quarter three. Okay, so now what students were tempted to do is they were tempted to look here and go and read off the percentage. They didn't ask for the percentage. They asked for the number, right? So that's important. But we know it's not too difficult because they told us in quarter two it's 7,6 million. And it says, which is less, which is that amount less than in quarter three. So how many is in quarter three? Well, it's a 7,6 million plus the 183,000, and that's going to be what the answer is for this question, right? So be careful in these questions, not to just look at the graph, also look at sort of the little paragraph or the preamble, right, of the information that's presented, because there's key information that's presented in the sentences as well, okay? So it's important here to write the 7,6 million out, right? If you're thinking, oh, how do I do that? I just said, 7.6 and I times it by a million. Remember, a million has six zeros, right? And then I'm going to add the 183,000, right? Where did I get that from? Over there. Wonderful. And now we just go plug this into our calculator, okay? Don't make stupid calculator mistakes. Well, I sometimes do that. Um, I, don't, I don't want you to lose marks for that. So there it is, right? And that is your answer. We are A for away. If you want to say people, by all means say people. But that is your answer. You can write this as 7.783 million, right? How did I get from there to there? I divided it by a million, right? But presenting it like that, absolutely fine. They didn't say we had to write it a million, so don't stress about it, okay? That's our answer there. Let's look at 3.2.3. .3. It says, determine the increase in percentage of unemployed women. So we're just looking at unemployed women from quarter one to quarter three. Okay, so we're comparing these two here. So we're not really looking at quarter two at all. Okay, let's look at women. So women here are the stripy stripes. So we're going to just do this just to help us out. And there's our women. Okay, so we want the difference between this here and that there, okay? Here, it's not too difficult, right? Because we can see here that, that it's like 34,5, I think, right? Uh, let me see if that's right. Let's just check here. Look, it's important to actually look at the intervals because now it's a little bit tricky. So if this is 34, and that's 28, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that seems to be 30. Then we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's 32. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, so just so that we have it nicely, right? So this seems to be exactly at 34, okay? Where does this one seem to be? It seems to be over here, 
right? So we can see that when we have five, one, two, three, four, five, the middle of that is going to be over here. So that there's going to be 37. Okay, that's going to be 37%. And then it's kind of just below halfway on the way to 38. So I'm going to say 37.4%. If you want to say 30. 7.5%. Um, Remember, they give you a little bit of a leeway. You can do that. The biggest thing here is to be able to read the scale. So students struggled with this um, in the in the uh, in answering this question because they weren't able to actually see what I was referring to. So do you see, I spent a bit of time making sure I understand the graph, and you should do the same. So what is the difference? It says determine the increase in percentage. So we're going to say 3.2.3. We're going to say 37.4. If you got 37.5, etc., you can write that, and then. I'm going to say that. So my increase is this. If you're like, oh, my God, how did you get that? Plug it in your calculator. I just did it in my head, right? You can do it in your calculator. And that's your answer there. So that's the increase in percentage. And we're done. Okay, not too difficult. Let's do the last question now. And then we are done. It says the unemployment rate for quarter two was 34,4%. Happy. Determine the number of people employed in South Africa during quarter two. Now, this is a bit of a tricky one because it's told us the percentage of unemployed, but now it's asked us for the percentage, not just the percentage of employed, but also the number. Okay, so now this is a bit tricky. So let's write down some things that we know. Okay, so 34.4% is my unemployed, right? Oh, goodness, my handwriting is quite extreme. Employed, unemployed. So we know that 65.6% .6 has to be my employed. Now you could be saying, oh, how did you get that? Well, do you agree with me that the unemployed plus the employed has to equal 100%, right? Because you one or the other, right? So if those are the unemployed people, those are now the employed people, okay? So that's what we know. Let's see what else we know. Well, it said here, remember we're talking about quarter two, so be careful that you um, also know where we're talking about. It told us in quarter two that 7.6 million people were unemployed. So this 34.4%, right, actually equates, or in reality, is 7.6 million, okay, which is also, we can write it without the million um, sort of denomination, we can write it out in full, right, you write it like that, okay, so it's basically like a form of ratio, okay, so 34,4% gives me that, so actually what we're trying to find is we're trying to find, well, what is 65,6%, how many people does that give me, don't stress, let's just work out what is 1%? Okay. Now, how do we get from here to there? Well, we divide by 34.4, right? What I do to the one side, I have to do to the other side. Wow, my arrows are terrible, right? So you divide both sides by the same thing, okay? So you're going to say the 7600000 divide by 34.4, and that gives me this many people. Now, you could be saying, ah, you can't have decimal people, right? Margie, you always say you can't have fractions of people. Yes, you're right. But remember, we only round off at the end. So now we want to get this to 65.6%. Well, how do we get from 1% to 65.6%? Well, we times, right? And what we do to the one side, your my arrows are getting better now, um, we do to the other side, okay? So now we take whatever's here on our calculator and we're going to times it by 65,6. And that is going to be our answer, Okay? Now, you could be saying, but Margie, that's not our final answer, and you're 100% right. Let's round this off. That is less than the halfway mark, so we know that our answer is going to be 3023 people, and that is our answer, okay? There are other ways you can do this, but this, to me, is the most logical way to go about it, and often students struggle with questions like this, so I always try to give alternative ways of going about it. Okay, that's, done. that's us done with question three. Let's move on to question four.